Welcome to my own little private garden. This is my turtle enclosure. And what we're going to do right now is we got a little baby box turtle. He was in the process of eating a worm. That is a young three-toed box turtle. Female, by the way. Who's happily enjoying a night crawler. doesn't always get it right. He's got a long way to go on learning how to eat something. Box turtles have a lot easier time eating the worm head first and she has uh, seemed to um, grabbed it in the middle somehow. But this is just part of the enclosure. There's four young box turtles in all in here. And we'll take a closer look. This is where all my young turtles go into this enclosure. This here is my filtration system. Those are water hyacinths. Inside water comes up goes through two filter two sets of filter medium and then the water hyacinths help filter out some of the debris and also the um, use a lot of the ammonia and the nitrates that come from the, the fish and such inside the second barrel are bags filled with biomedia filled with um, nitrifying um, um, bacteria bacteria that, di that digest the, uh, the waste products from fish and then we have the spill that goes over in there and oxygenates the water we've got water lilies and some water hyacinth in here and if you notice the enclosure is enclosed with an overhang it also doubles for an area to sit. The rock that's there in the center is a fake rock. It's got a hole in it. And right there is my window well to my basement and that's covered with another fake rock. And the young turtles are often underneath there. And in the back corner there along that back wall are strawberry plants. So the turtles are able to, the box tortoises are able to forage for themselves. There's a stand of milkweed. It's about seven feet high. That's there specifically for monarch butterflies. That is my front window. So at any time of the day when you're sitting in my, my, my living room, you can just look over and look right out and see what's there. There's a better view of the of my filtration system. Pump is below there somewhere. There is some edging that is laid across on the inside from end to end. You can see it looks like a little ramp. That is for these young box turtles to get in the water. They're not the best swimmers in the world. They get to the edge they can <clears throat> crawl on out with relative ease. We'll go for another view here. Underneath those barrels in the corner, that hole there goes underneath my stoop. And that is where box tortoises overwinter and sometimes the, 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 the cold hardy um, turtles will overwinter in there as well. That'll get sealed up around November 
and they will stay in there and not come out until April. You might be wanting to know what species are in here. Water's about three feet deep in the center. And there's young Reeves turtles in there. There's young European pond turtles. And there is a, a, a very small eastern painted turtle in there as well. And normally they would be out sunning themselves. We've got a cloudy day. Nobody's on there. And we're going to walk down over. We're going to go to the pond where all the fish are at. I wanted to get out and film this because the portulaca are just absolutely beautiful. And these plants are annuals. They come back every year. They just reseed themselves. I don't fertilize them or anything. I just keep the soil rich. I just add a little bit of composted horse manure every year. And they're just vibrant colors. It's my favorite flower. I just love them. They're very, they're very uh, drought tolerant. Now this is a uh, pond is about 20 feet long, three feet deep in the center here. In case you're wondering, yes, I built this. I dug it myself. We have various types of water lilies in there. We have some, uh, some yellow ones, some pink ones. It's the wrong time of day to see them out. Behind there, that rock wall, there's also more box turtles. Um, it's another part of a, another box turtle enclosure for the adults. And we're going to come down here and we're going to feed some fish. I don't know if you can see them or not. These are not goldfish. These are gold barbs. And gold barbs are considered a tropical aquarium fish, but are actually from somewhere in Asia. I'm not quite sure, somewhere further north and, and I believe in China. And they're, they could tolerate water temperatures down to about 50 degrees. And I put them outside for the summer months. And there's actually more here than I'm showing. There's one heavy laden with eggs. They do reproduce in here, they do spawn. Um, I originally started out with 12, I got about 30 now. I don't get many youngsters, so I think the most I ever got were like 14 one year. These aren't the only tropical fish I have in this pond. There's also some port cichlids in here, and there's one very large um, Lacostomus, and there's a few uh, red wag, red wagtailed um, platys. And come second week of September, I will remove them out of here. Skimmer box is down there at the end of the pond, buried in that mess somewhere.
once again. There's a bedroom window where you can basically kind of look out and see it at any time of day.